So we'll get this thing kicked off with a little love crowd, and we'll get that debate going right now. <laughs> yeah, that good brother right there did an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Jonathan Majors, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what it says. He clarifies Atticus' fate at the end of the season is sealed. Atticus is dead. He's not coming back. Jonathan Majors says he's got other things he's going to pursue. He's very thankful that he had this role because he didn't know it was going to get the fanfare that he got. But as of now, he's telling everybody, the character is dead. Larry, are you okay with this? Do you think he's lying? How do you feel about it? No, I'm 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 okay with it. I mean, the way they took him out, mm -hmm. if they were gonna take him out, it seemed like a very final way to do it, you know. They right. pretty much drained him of all of his life force and, and killed yeah. him off. And he did it in such a way that he that he sacrificed himself for his family. So right. you know, mm -hmm. he went out, he went out like an honorable man. Um you know, I sort of speculated that I, that he was that he was going out permanently because when you looked at what he had going on, it looked like he had movies and stuff that were that were in the works. And so, right, right. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like you only have time for so many projects, and 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 so if you have something else that you know, especially movies, it seems like I mean, some people like TV. I mean, there's certain people like Kristen Bell. It seems like no matter how many movie offers she gets, she seems to like TV. And comes back to it but there are some people that are just like i want to be a movie star you yeah, know yeah. and so well, and that's where you know even in even in hollywood it's it's sort of that's where the that's where all the prestige is is being a movie star and so if you get that opportunity then you go become a movie star i think it's yeah. changed a little bit because tv's gotten so much better mm -hmm. and you have and you now have all these uh, these big time directors, people that that normally only direct movies, coming over and directing TV and writing TV series. So things have got changed a little bit, but I still think there's a lot of people out there that just want to be movie stars. And and honestly, it's probably it's probably more lucrative. I mean, if you can go and make a movie and make you know five or ten or fifteen million dollars for probably what is equivalent to about three months of work. Mm -hmm. You know, versus having to spend, you know, six months or eight months working on a series, you know, why not? Well, this is this particular subject that you're talking about, TV versus movies, is definitely going to be in the next block because of what Jennifer Hudson said in her remarks about the Aretha Franklin biopic. In terms of Jonathan Majors and Atticus, I'm fine with it. Like I said, right. you could do another series with his son being his legacy. And I think what happens when they kill these characters, we tend to fall in love so much with the actor portraying the character. And he did a hell of a job playing Atticus. You right. know, he makes it, he makes these actors do such a good job. These young black actors, might I add you, do such right. a great job that you can't envision anyone else playing the character. So right. I wouldn't want to see anyone else come in and be Atticus unless, you know, they're doing a time loop showing Atticus when he was like 10 or something, which would have yeah. to be a different actor. But I'm fine with the way it ended. There's plenty of story they can pick up from. I hate to see Jonathan Majors go, but I will follow him and whatever he does because he knocked it out the park in this one. In the same breath that we talk about, Power and Ghost's character being dead. Excuse me, right. James St. Patrick's character being dead <laughs> because we Tariq's all... The new ghost. Tariq's the new ghost, but James St. Patrick, he's done. Similarly yeah. to what Jonathan Majors is saying. He wants people to see what he can do in Hollywood. You know, TB was good. It catapulted him. He enjoyed what he did. It made him a household name and icon, but he wants the schedule of doing Hollywood movies, and I wish them both well. So yeah. I'm fine with it. Lovecraft has so many other directions they can go in this store. Like we need to know more about the book of names. Like they can get into that. We can go yeah. and tra we can go traverse their multiverse that they have going on. We can right. see his son. They can pick up on a story where the son is like 18 years old. He's enchanted mm -hmm. with so much more power than his dad because of the legacy of Christina's heritage with his dad's heritage. And he's the last one of all that. We could do stories like that. So I'm fine right. with it. 
I wish that brother well, and I'll follow him wherever he goes. Yeah, and 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 to be honest, that's not to say that we won't ever see him back. Because right. I mean, we've we've seen throughout this this first series this that um, you know this first season that they've shown us the ancestors throughout there. I mean, the very first episode they they started off showing us the ancestors with the young woman that was pregnant running through the fire, and then they showed them in the house when they went back to uh, to Tulsa, and 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 they've shown it throughout the series these little blips where they have the ancestors sort of show up. So it's you know. It's not as as it's not as if he couldn't come back as one of the ancestors. It's not like you know that Letty couldn't couldn't conjure him back if she needed him for something or to talk to him. Right. So right, I you know for all we know, he's in that he's in that space that 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 astral plane that that they created sort of as a safe place, and maybe Letty just misses him and decides she's going to go visit him and hang out. I mean, or, she knows how to use magic. so Or, or at any point could. in time, any point in time, they can go get him from one of the other universes, Earth 504, anything like that. So, right. you know, in, in terms of him coming... I don't know what Earth 308's like. How, you how, know? About Earth, how about for all my people in Greenville, Earth 252? <laughs> 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 or, or for my folks like Buzz, how about Earth 703? That's what well, we seven, want. All right. Earth 703. Boom. 703. 703. Right there. Now, now, before we get out of here on this subject, Muchella told me to make sure I let you guys know, Jonathan Majors has joined the MCU. So that, I mean, you really can't do much of anything else once yeah. you jump into that MCU, especially with the way they're trying to handle their stories with COVID. So, you know, I can't knock the brother, but I'm going to wish him well. And Larry, we're going to move on. 